my name is Michael Brenneman coming to you from the floor of IMS 2018. And today we're going to go through a brief demo of the EM extraction capability within Virtuoso RF. This extraction capability uh, makes use of two electromagnetic and solver engines, makes use of the Sigurdi 3D EM finite element engine and the Axiom method of moments engine from National Instruments. So what I have on the screen is the VCO design um, with its schematic, along with a model assistant docked on the right side of the layout window that gives me access to extract multiple instances or nets uh, from my layout to get an S-parameter solution for use in circuit simulation. Within the assistant, you have the ability to create models and give them meaningful names for use later in circuit simulation. These models can be run using two different electromagnetic engines. One is the Axiom Method of Moments engine from National Instruments. The other is the Sigurdi 3D EM engine um, from Cadence. So in terms of setting up the model, I simply select the model, select the instance that I want to analyze, and add that um, to my model. Uh, the next step uh, for the finite element engine is to define a buffer. So this will define the size of the problem region that's being meshed to solve the case. The next step is to create the ports. By clicking the automatic port generation button, this will generate the connection points to feed the inductor based on the pins. As you can see, as I cycle through the ports, we capture all of the pins um, connecting into the inductor instance. To generate the physical model, we make use of the PDK from the foundry and use the QRC tech files or the ICT files to get the physical information such as the layer thicknesses and the material properties so that we can get the proper EM results in the touchstone file. If we take a look at the Axiom model, I can quickly preview the mesh. This way I can get an idea of the density that will be used and the accuracy level. So here we can see in this case I'm using a relatively sparse mesh. I get a nice 3D view of the inductor. We're using thick metal um, with sidewalls to capture the coupling. So the whole purpose of the assistant is to allow the designer to stay within the Virtuoso cockpit and gain access to S-parameter full wave accuracy. So directly from the assistant, once the model is set up, I'm able to directly simulate the model. In this case, I'm launching the Axiom version of the model. It's going to go through, run the frequency sweep, and provide the S-parameter results. While this is running, which will only take a few seconds, I'm going to bring up the final model within the Sigurdi environment. This is a comparison of the S-parameter results from the finite element tool, um, which are the red traces, and the method of moments tool, uh, Axiom, which are the blue traces. If we look at the um, finite element model, you'll see that this is handled a little bit differently. We're creating a ground ring using a boundary condition, a perfect electric ground um, conducting boundary condition to provide the return path. And then we have a de-embedding structure so that we can take out the additional parasitics back to the instance pins. The important part of the flow is that you get to maintain your original layout and your golden schematic. For any number of models that you create um, in design, you're able to create extracted views. So the extracted views give you access to all the S parameters that you've created. In this case, I can remove any redundancies that exist for this inductor and create a new file that basically takes a copy of the golden schematic and creates all the connectivity for the S-parameter model. So the extracted view instantiates my S-parameter.
removes the original inductor and its associated model and wires everything together to maintain connectivity so you don't break LVS in the golden schematic. Uh, once you have several extracted views in your design flow, um, we have a back annotation capability that allows you to double check the S parameter content of your models. So if I choose an extracted view, select on the model or models that exist in that view, um, we get an annotated version on the golden schematic itself that shows you where you have your S parameter data. Of course, once you have the extracted views, you make use of the hierarchy editor um, and the switch view capability to be able to do circuit simulation. So if I switch to ADE, I've set up four different tests to compare the uh, oscillating frequency of the VCO under various conditions. Here we're taking a look at the original golden schematic with just model files. Then we add in the QRC extracted results. So from Qantas QRC, we can see the oscillating frequency over the tuning band decreases due to the additional capacitance. Then we add in the S parameters from the 3 dem run. Then we compare that with the S parameters from the Axiom run. So you only have to run your QRC extraction once on your design and based on the connectivity information that exists in the extracted view and in the S parameter views, you can mix and match and very quickly do what if analysis on the entire circuit simulation. Thank you again for joining us for the demo of the EM capability within the Virtuoso RF flow. For more information, please refer to the Cadence website um, to find out um, the further capabilities of the co-design and simulation flow um, that are possible from RF module design.